Now, showing confidence. Now, you might wonder, why did I pick a pile of dirt to help you guys show your confidence? Well, so in week one, we already talked about eliminating fear, uncertainty, and doubt from your language. We talked about how to communicate in a confident way, right? To emphasize, to pause. So we talked about the orator and how to deliver confidence. But that's just you talking. What about the confidence about your product, about your company? Well, where does that come from? And I'll tell you guys a little inside secret. All right. The inside secret is when I'm at home, I don't feel confident at all in my physical appearance. Not at all. I am overweight. I am out of shape. I should have showered. There is a list of things that are wrong with me every day in the mirror. And then what happens is I get on the New York City subway and I go, ooh, okay, all right, not too shabby. I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. This is what happens to me. So what, I, what that means is if you compare yourself to other people, right, you might actually realize, hey, we are pretty good. Our product is pretty good. Our service is pretty good. Our company is. Or you might even find out, okay, we're not good at this, but by the way, neither are they. You could also find that out, right? Like Zoom and WebEx, they both have the problem that an unidentified person could show up and bomb your meeting. It happened our week one, and it's happened on my Zoom calls also. Happens to both competitors. Okay, how do we find out some dirt on your competitor? I am good at this. I will tell you some of the things I do. Um, and let me do my time check because my laptop ran out of batteries. Okay, we're still good. Um, I, so these are things I search for. My competitor's name and the word lawsuit. What were they sued for? Whether it's false or true, it still means that someone was so angry with you that they went ahead and booked a lawsuit against you. It still is a pretty substantial thing to know. Um, the word hate and competitor name, what? We don't ever use the word hate in a corporate presentation. Well, sorry guys, the real world just talks the way they wanna talk. So that's what I Google, hate, name of company. Why do they hate this company? Let's find out. Don't or worst, plus company name. So again, you're looking for negative sentiment. What are they saying about your competitor? Don't, name of competitor. Worst, name of competitor. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, they're the worst at service delivery. Ha, and service delivery is part of my project. Now, when you find these things out, I mean, you can say to your customer, well, here's what I've heard or here's what I've read. You're not even saying it's factually true. But here's what I've heard, and I'll tell you, negative news spreads faster than positive news. So if that's what you heard, it might go places. Trust radius. So there are companies that do um, product reviews. And so sometimes I will look, what does that website say? Um, now this can be kind of hit or miss. Your product could be in there. It might not be in there. You might have to look at different competitors to trust radius. Another one is IT, IT Central Station. Look at it, see what they say. There will be real live people who've de deployed your product. Um, you'll also find pricing complaints in there. Now, I don't have memories of finding price itself, which is the real golden nugget. Uh, I don't have memories of finding that, but you'll find people complaining. Oh, they're really expensive. Okay, good. Good bad news to find. Competitor name and the word illegal. So maybe they haven't been in a lawsuit yet, but people are accusing them of doing things that are illegal. That's good to find out. Now this may be your favorite tongue twister of the day. Your competitor's competitor's CEO. What the heck? Okay, competitor, what, what I mean is you're competing against IBM Netcool, for instance. Moosoft is competing against IBM Netcool. So then look at what does the CEO of Moogsoft say about Netcool. So the CEOs, or more, more specifically, the founders usually have the best idea of who they're competing against and why. Why that other party is so weak that they could build this other company against them. They usually have the best knowledge. Um, and in this example, if I remember correctly, which I might not, uh, I think it was the, the Moogsoft CEO who is very public about saying why they're better than Netcool, if I remember correctly. Um, so sometimes you'll find a competitor who's out there doing the dirt throwing for you. Ha, great, read that. 
Uh, the last one. So investigative journalists, I think, are very much, uh, what do I want to say, underread. They find some of the most valuable information, um, but they might only be on Intercept and not on any other website. You know, it might just be in one place. Um, but that is also, investigative journalists are very good about finding out what's wrong with your enemy. So there you go. These are things you can do that you can say, okay, well, they're not good at these things. We're not perfect, but we're better than that. 